Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Today's episode is a haul collection video. So I'm going to show you every single coin that I own, that I've either bought, traded or found in, uh, found in a coin hunt. I'm going to start with my coin cupboard. So I have a, a cupboard in the living room with two shelves in it, a top shelf and a bottom shelf. And on there are some of my most uh, most precious coins. I'll insert a picture now so you'll get to see the uh, the cupboard in complete. So we're both upstairs and downstairs, and the uh, and, and a picture there is just the top shelf. So there's everything we go through in this first part of the video is on is on that uh, top shelf. So it's on that it's on that uh, on that screen somewhere. Right, we'll start with the, uh, the, the 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 set that started it all off for me. It's the 1983 Heinz baked beans proof set from the royal mint this was uh, my mum sent this away uh, sent this uh, sent away for this for me i believe or so she tells me or legend tells me that it cost uh, 20 baked bean wrappers so you had to save 20 heinz baked bean wrappers and you got this uh, this sent for free so i guess this set off my uh, my love of coins if you have got this set the one to look out for is this uh, is this two pence in here and it wants to be new pence written on there there is a few a few out there with the the wrong reverse on so if you've got that set or in fact any two pence with 1983 on the obverse there it is so 1983 on the queen side but new pence on the reverse then you've got yourself a a coin that's probably worth a few hundred quid because it was it was the year they swapped over from just from saying new pence to two pence and they made a mistake in some of the annual sets so keep an eye out for that one so yeah that's my uh the, 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 the bit that started it all off i've got a few other older sets so this was uh, this was given to me can't remember by who but it was in my uh coins of old when i started collecting again uh in kind of january time in 2006 in 2019 when i went in the loft i had this uh, this britain's first decimal set not very expensive you can buy this on ebay for less than two quid but pretty cool got some cool information on that uh, on that card I also had when I went in the loft. I also had this collector's coins set from Trebor Extra Strong Mints. Again, not very valuable. It's got a whole range of pre-decimal coins and different dates on there, but it was just something that uh, probably my nan or granddad sent away for me when I was uh, when I was a kid. Or oh, they had stashed somewhere. Just not really quite sure where that came from. Anyone who's seen the the Coin Tin of Wonder series? Uh, uploaded a few months ago now probably in the original lockdown i think of 2020 you'll see all the other coins but we'll talk about uh, I had a lot of coins in a tin i'll talk about them later on in the video when we get to some of my uh, some of the, some of the coins that i keep in my uh, in my filing cabinet so that's the that's the first lot of the bit that, that started it all off everything else you'll see from, from from this point on apart from the coin tin of wonder um, is stuff that I've accumulated since uh, since we started the channel in February 2019. Right, let's start with this. So this is a 1971 pre-decimal, uh, sorry, decimal set, pre-decimal set underneath it. And this was very, very kindly sent to us by Stephen Patrick in the PO box. And he sent it in as a thank you for the uh, for, for our content, which was very, very, very gratefully received. And what, he had, what he'd done, he'd, he'd overheard me, or he'd seen the, the video where... I had the 1970 set, which is this. This was part of a trade that I did with uh, DC Coin World, which is an international coin channel. It's the set is broken, but it does have all the, the pre-decimal set in there, in there, in proof, along with the, the paperwork. But the, the case was broken, the case was smashed. So I don't. I'd opened this on a uh, on a video and said, "Yep, yeah, we've got the 1970." So I'd have to get the 1971 set. So I had pre-decimal and the decimals together. And Stephen very kindly sent that one in, into um, into the PO box. So they both sit proudly on the top shelf. While right, we talk about DC Coin World, this is another set of coins that uh, we, we did a trade for 1972 uh, Canadian coins, which are which are really cool. We've got a few sets from the 70s that he sent, but I like this one. Uh, it's got, a, it's got a beaver on the five cents and I keep this in the uh, on that top shelf as well. I don't think they're particularly valuable. Uh, this one, I got this on a fit via a Facebook group. It was £45 and it's the A to Z coins, the great Aussie coin hunt. So it's got the A to Z coins, but from Australia. And it's got all the things that are 
Australia on there, right from A all the way to Z. So very much like our, where is Z? There it is. So very much like our A to Z 10 Ps, the Australian Mint did a, a set of one dollar coins and i like this because I, I do like the i like the a to z 10 pences so that's pretty cool that australia did one as well and i was trying to get one when it first came out direct from australia but didn't quite pan out but uh someone was selling one on a facebook group so i got that i love the sleeve as well that is it uh, that's pretty cool so other things that sit on my top shelf uh, some of the tokens that master dan temple have sent lady m and i I treasure, I treasure each and every one of these. We have another one as well, a bungle ball that houses the cocktail stick that we use on the uh, on during our coin hunts. But yes, the very first one we got was this one, I think, this bigger one. The very first time we met Master Temple, he, he actually gave it a Christopher Collex to bring down to the mint for us. And uh, yeah. And as it, as it happened, we were there and he was there and we met him and uh, we haven't looked back since. What a great guy. So that was the first one we got. And then if, I think he then did another one because that one was for me. He had, uh, yeah, he put plum finds on the outside. Uh, oh no, maybe it, maybe it's got Lady M on as well. Mm, I'm sure. Oh, oh no, that's right. The very first one was one was an error coin. So he'd sent, uh, he'd done one and then he'd, he'd included an error coin as well. So he, he'd, give, he'd give us them both. I can't remember which one was the error. Probably, probably the little one. But he can't have been happy with the uh, with the design, so he did it. He did a second one and gave us them both. So we've got a very rare 2019 Bungle Collects Dan Temple token, and then he did the the same in 2020 as well. He did a, a Lady M coin and another Lady M coin. They've all got Lady M on. Both of these have 20 20 20. Let's get ready to uh, let's get ready to bungle as well. Was a, a phrase that was around at the at the time earlier this year. So I love these. They sit on the top shelf, and so they are very much treasured from a from a great friend. Um, this is probably, or these two are probably my favourite thing on the top shelf. It's, I might say that a few times over this video, but this really is uh, this really is a favourite. Bought this on eBay, kind of October November two thousand nineteen. I got two at the same time, and it is the original Royal Mint Sports Collection, so also known as the Olympics. And it has the complete the medal as well. And I loved it so much that I bought two. So I paid, I think I paid £95 including postage for one set. And then about £90 for the other. Or £86. I think they both worked out at £90. I got them both at the same time on the same day. Different people, I think. And it worked out on average it was £90 a set. So I think I've done well there. I'm sure they're, they're way over that now. I think they're about £140. Maybe it's £150. Uh, but I love the, I really do love the Olympic set, and I love this album. It's it's so, it's just so nice. It's quite weighty, and you know, it's proper robust, decent, uh, decent. There, look, collect all twenty nine coins. So yes, I love that album so much, and I wanted, I wanted <laughs> that I got two, and it's exactly the same, <laughs> exactly the same setup. I do put the complete medal in the opposite way around, look, because there is two, obviously two sides to it, and it, and it is different on both sides. So I put one on one side. And one on the other but yeah that's probably my most favorite favorite thing i think that one we've got some 2018 and 2019 8 to z 10 p sets uh i think i bought one 2018 i bought off the royal mint website i think i bought that bunk that was say 60 pound i won another one i won a 2018 and a 2019 on a bonus ball game on a facebook uh site and it probably isn't the Facebook group. It's probably not the last time I mentioned that because it was £7 a ticket. And I got an 8 to Z 2018, an 8 to Z 2019 with the coins. Got a Flopsy Bunny Silver Proof, a Q Gardens, an 8 to Z medallion from Change Checker. There's something else which I can't remember, but I'm sure as I come across it, I'll be like, yeah, I got that as well. So it was obviously for seven quid. Oh, it was the uh, 2019 culture set, so celebrating 50 years of the 50 pence. So it was the best seven pound I'd ever spent. It was like a Christmas bonanza draw, and I just happened to have uh, won it. So, yeah, and I can't remember where I got the other one from, the, 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 the third one. I probably just bought the, maybe just bought the album, I think, and then filled it with maybe coins I'd found out of circulation, not, uh, not quite sure. 
and the 2019 I probably bought one as well so I got one for one of that one was win and I bought one and I'm sure you're all familiar with the 2018 and 2019 a to z 10 pences and they are exactly the same on the inside it's the spine that's a different color the 2019s in blue and the 2018s in red so I've got three sets of one and two in the other in the official Royal Mint album so I do treasure them over here I've got some bunk coins so these are I don't as, as most people know I don't uh, I don't tend to buy bunk coins really the uh, I do like to touch them and break them out the cardboard prison but I do have the odd bunk so this was a uh, Stephen Hawkins 50 pence got the the jewel the, the the jewel coin for the brexit with the the, the hands in and the, the brexit coin I, I got this i was able to get this at face value and i know they did shoot looked about 60 70 80 quid when they first came out I'm not sure what they are now but they only made five thousand of them i got this off a facebook group i think it was 22 quid if i, if I remember correctly and i got it because i just love the navy centenary coin and i wanted it in there uh, i wanted it in bunk i've had it open and had a read and everything i can't uh, i can't help myself uh, on that one but yeah i kept uh, i got i got that one because i do like the, the navy centenary and then also got a 2019 bunk as well and we got that when we went to the royal mint in the winter of 2019 and al and i got talking to the royal mint the, the, the staff in the in the in the royal mint pop-up shop that was in cardiff at the time we were saying we were a coin channel obviously was, i was with absolute coin so he was the he was the Mac Daddy. He's the one with the with all the subscribers and everything. But we got talking, and they kindly give us a uh, everybody who was there a 2019 snowman. So that's technically Lady M's that one because we give the other one away on a giveaway. Right, I got the 2020 annual set, which I bought in bulk, uh, in bulk, which is in bunk, and I think I bought that. I think it was 60, was it 65 pound? I can't remember. I know I bought it later on in the year, and I used it when I got a cord to get the the. I think I got a fibre off. I think. Uh, this was the, the, the set to say part of that prize I won on the Facebook group, the Celebrate the 50 Years of the 50 Pence with the 2019 version of previously released coins, including that 2019 Q Gardens. Uh, I got this off Gumtree, so this cost me £15, uh, and I just thought it was cute, a little Beatrix Potter, uh, what do you call it, album. It's the same kind of feel as the, as the London Olympics one. It's kind of smooth but robust as well. Uh, I don't know how best to describe it. Like an oily, not oily, waxy. I don't know, but it's got a lovely, lovely, can you hear it? It's got that lovely feel to it. So I got this, it was £15, someone was selling it on Gumtree, and I thought I can't fall off because the album itself, even second hand's about five quid. Uh, and then the coins, I thought, well, Peter Rabbit and Flopsy Bunny are five or each. So I've got me 15 quid in the in the bunnies and the and the album back. So I've got Taylor of Gloucester and Tittle Mouse for free, really. But I just thought it was a cute little, a cute little album. So I got that. Uh, this was sent in by our friend Mr. Jamesy B. Hoy from Jamesy B. Hoy Coins, and it's a set of Lord of the Rings 50 cents from uh, from from New Zealand, I assume, isn't it? Yeah, from New Zealand, and he sent us them into the, into the PO box, so that sits on the on the top shelf as well. And rounding rounding out the top shelf is the silver proofs that I have. Whoops, and I don't I don't have many. Uh, this one's technically not mine. I did buy this to, uh, for Lady M. At Christmas last year, so it's the letter. I love that. It's the letter R for Robin 2018. And I got it when they were selling them for the half price, or maybe it's a third off, I can't remember, but I think they're £45 to buy. And I got it for is it 25 quid, something like that. I can't remember, but it wasn't quite a full price. I got Lady M that for Christmas, but I, I just keep it safe on, uh, on my top shelf. That was part of that prize that I mentioned on Facebook. So Flopsy Bunny, 2018. Lovely. I've also got a Snowman from 2018. Again, technically this is Lady M's. I got this for Christmas last year, or Christmas 2019. And I got I bought this off uh, Andy from Coin Cupboard. He had a spare, so he, he kindly sold it to me for what he paid for it. And I say give it a lady in for Christmas, but I just keep it nice and safe on uh, on my top shelf. Got a few in uh, in the Royal Mint boxes. The the I've got I've still got the boxes for these ones that come in there. These kind of um, acrylic, are they acrylic? But um, got these as well. 
So I got this because it was only £25 they were selling it off on the World of Beatrix Potter website. So it was 25 quid. And I thought I'll get it one because I like the design. And it makes a little mini set with the uh mini set with the with the flopsy bunny. And what have we got? 701. So quite a low number. How many did how many did they make in these in these black boxes? I never quite understand the um you never quite understand. So maximum coin mintage of 45,000, but they only made 1,500 in this limited edition uh, black box. So, yeah, under halfway on that one. Anyway, well worth 25 quid, I think. I think we're worth certainly more than that in the future. But it was more just to make the set. This one, or mini set, this was given to us by Christopher Collects. He sent this to our PO box. I can't remember why. I can still see my big thumbprint there. He sent it. I can't remember if he sent it as a thank you, or did he just... I know that he bought it himself, and there's quite a some, some quite bad toning on it. So he, um, it's not something that he wanted to keep himself, but he knows how I like to, I like to handle them. So he sent it to me, and I, and I handled it to my heart's content. Look, there's a couple of thumbprints over the queen's bottom of the queen's neck there, and one right over that uh, that ship. But uh, yeah, there was some bad tone to it. I can't quite see it through the camera. Oh yes, I can. Yes, I can. It's uh, in and around. Kind of around here. Ellie's moved all my stuff around, so I've got my cocktail stick. I'll have to get my cocktail stick out for when I start doing the, the bottom shelf so I can point things out if needs be. But hey, oh, there we go. Lovely. So I do, I do love the Navy Centenary. It's PA4 as well. So it's that double thickness coin. So it was great to get that for uh, get that for now. Thank you very much, Christopher. And then last but not least, is uh, Isaac Newton Silver Proof. So it is beginning to tone, unfortunately. There's quite a lot of, uh, we're discovering quite a lot of the, the coins in this form are beginning to are beginning to go. Uh, and I got this for £30 off a Facebook group, which I thought was a was a good price at the time. Only number 500. How many did they make of these? Just 7,000. So they made 7,000 in total, 4,000 in this limited edition case, and I've got number 500. So I'm quite, uh, quite pleased with that one. Right, I think that's uh, I think that's the end of, uh, of of the top shelf. We'll move on to uh, we'll move on to the bottom shelf. Uh, I'll show you a picture of how it looks when it's all set up. So you'd be you'd be looking at uh, looking at that right now. I uh, I'm sure. Uh, shelf number two, with a, there's a light stuck to the underside of the shelf above it, so it just illuminates it uh, quite nicely. Um, right, so we'll start with this one. So this is the Christopher Collects token. So Christopher, whoops, kindly give us give us one of these when we met up at the mint. Got 103 out of 1,000. I'm sure he'll still have some of these uh, available on his website. So I keep that as a, as a lovely memento. Got loads of different change checker um, coins that I've kept in, in bunk. Uh, I like them too. I bought them as part of the 2020 annual set. And I bought the full set just so I could cut the Team GB out of its plastic prison and cardboard prison and put it into my date run. So you will see my full date run later on in the... Uh, well, it'll probably be a part two, I would imagine now. So yeah, in the this will this will all be part one of uh, I don't know the, the bunk coins, I guess the I don't know presentation coins, and part two is the is the is the circulated coin. So you'll get to see the the circulated coin because it's no longer well, it's not circulated, but it's certainly no longer bunk at that team GB. It's in my it's in my date run where I got every fifty pence. So I'm trying to get every single fifty pence. From 69 right the way the date so i kept them too because i like uh, i like i put them in the, on the bottom shelf because i like the design of the agatha christie and of the the mayflower also got that one i like that one the uh, the d-day 75th anniversary and i think i got that for face value someone sent me a link from the face value ballot and i got that for got that for two quid which was delivered free uh 2019 snowman because i quite like that one and it kind of made the set to go with the the 2020, uh, sorry, the 2018 snowman. I have got a, a 2020 somewhere as well. It must be in me, must be in me filing cabinet drawers. I'll have to move it onto the bottom shelf at uh, at some point. I uh, got this for five quid. So I only got this about six months ago. Someone was selling some coins on Gumtree, and this was one of them. And uh, yeah, it was five five quid. Has begun to tone, unfortunately, which seems to be the tail of the tail of these types of coins. But anyway, well worth. Uh, I think I got a bag in there at the fiver. Uh, for some reason, I got the Rosalyn Franklin coin. I got that twice and kept uh, that one. I don't know why I don't really like it, but I do like the Winnie the Pooh next to it. So I've got that. This is uh, the A to Z uh, Complete the Medal, I guess, 
is the, is the best way of putting it from change checker and i got that as part of that uh that seven pound bonus ball game that i entered in christmas 2019 so I got it for free. Uh, these are technically all Lady M's, I think. I think I bought these for Lady M for Christmas in 2019. I know she likes the letter N, 10 pence, uh, as well as the R, because I bought the R in silver proof. I got the N in bunk. And she liked the Peter Rabbit 2018. And I think I just got the 19, because it just makes a little bit of a little bit of a set. I do like a little mini set. Uh, this one just got recently from Pocket Point. She sent that in our PO box. That is really cool. So I just like the look of that. So that's gone on the on the bottom shelf. Uh, this one was part of my original coin set. So I know I mentioned me Heinz baked beans earlier on in this video from the top shelf. This was something else that was in my coin tin, the coin tin of wonder. So this helped kick off the 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 collecting bug or the collecting bug, I suppose, for for coins because I've collected everything over the years from hats and scarves and football programs, badges, collect everything. This one, so this is a hundred trillion dollars from uh, from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. I paid three pound fifty nine, including postage, for that that uh, note and this one, this one cent note, in two thousand and twelve. I thought it was pretty cool because it's like I assume it was the lowest denomination note at one cent and then the highest denomination note at one hundred trillion dollars from Zimbabwe when it suffered from hyperinflation. So I bought that for three pound fifty nine. It's still it's absolutely immaculate. It's it's in an uncirculated condition. I assume it's real. I hope it's real. It looks real. And uh, yeah, the, these tend to go. I've seen just recently one of these go for it was about sixty quid, I think, just the the note on its own. But I bought it because I just thought one hundred trillion dollars just sounded amazing. So that's on me. That's on my bottom shelf. Got this for Christmas in two thousand nineteen. Lady and bought it for me when we were down in the mint one time at that year. She went and uh, went and bought this. So it's the it's a uh, Star Wars the R two D two stamp set. It does have a ooh, it does have a number up one four six seven five. I don't think they're particularly that particularly valuable. It's got the uh, the droid specs there. Got the token. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Star Wars and I like coins and I like stamps and R two D two is probably my favourite Star Wars character. So Lady M got me that for Christmas. That stays there. Uh, these are a selection of the Strike Your Owns. These these are two that I bought. Uh, one I bought off eBay for 30 quid and one for 30 quid off a Facebook group. They're both the same coin. There's nothing in that one, so I had to hide that behind it. It's the 2018 Newton. I don't know why I bought two. I, I, I kind of thought, I either thought I wanted the 2017 Strike Your Own or, um, or I just bought it uh, by mistake. So really bad toning on this one, or the one in my uh, date runs even worse. So that's where that, that's why that's missing. So you'll see the the date running part two, uh, and the part two video. Because I've put the 2018 in me in me date run. Because I want to try and get every single 50 pence you possibly can. But yeah, I got that one because Isaac Newton's my favourite uh, favourite 50 pence, and I've got it in a few different uh, few different guises now, including uh, silver proof and the strike your owns and these are all the strike your owns that we've got while we've been uh, visiting the uh, visiting the mint since we started going down there and meeting with you guys and the other coin channels so that was the first one we got i think which was the uh the new pence version of it the one with the the letters around the outside for the 50 pence like celebrating 50 years of the 50 pence wallace and gromit 2019 snowman the two brexits the one that you got actually on brexit day and the one that you got for a, a few days afterwards and then the two uh dinosaurs that are released we still need the um Hyliosaurus, but at the time of filming, it's not uh, it's not available as yet. The mint is shut. So there are the strike your owns, and this one is so it's super precious to me. This Darren Cheshire made this for us, this presentation case. It's 2019 8 to Z 10Ps in there. I think I had 13 already, and then the rest I've been uh, swapping out and trading. And I'm filming this just before Christmas Day in 2020, so I haven't quite got the last three coins, but hopefully. They have arrived as, as trades because we have traded for the for the three for them three, and hopefully on Christmas Day when we open up the mail, them three coins will be in and that set will be complete. And I absolutely, uh, I absolutely love it. So it sits on pride of one of my favourite things is this pride of place on the, uh, on the bottom shelf in the uh, in the coin cupboard. Right, I think that's uh, I think that one's done. What we're we moving on to next, I'll show you the. Things that we've got in the in the living rooms, so not necessarily coins, but things that are precious to us that are hanging up uh, or on display in the in the living room. Right, so this is the stuff that hangs in the in the living room. 
So the frame behind is what uh, Absolute Coins sent us. So we did a uh, a video with uh, with Al and a few other coin channels. It was numismatically challenged, I think it was. So a lady and I uh, were were victorious. It was nice to win that, and uh, uh, Al sent us this uh, commemorative picture with uh, with us on it as a. Uh, I think it was a Christmas present, actually. I think it's because he felt guilty because I'd sent him something and he hadn't sent us anything. Probably that. But anyway, we treasure it. Absolutely love it. Uh, and then within it is these two postcards from Master Dan Temple. The Royal Mint postcards of Delilah and the one P's on there. And Dan sent us, uh, sent us them. We were the very first people to receive one. Not sure. 8th of uh, January 2020, that one. So I reckon, and he was plugging his, his uh, Instagram page there rather than uh, than his YouTube channel, just before his YouTube channel. So I reckon we might have been the very first people to receive a postcard with a, with a painting on, a uh, picture on. Let us know, uh, Dan, won't you, if we, if we were where we first, and if we weren't, who who, who was? Be a bit, bit of trivia in years to come. We got this off Jamesy B. Hoy, he sent us this in, and it is a 2011 football that we <laughs> still at the time of filming, still never found. And uh, he got one gold plated for us, and that's its pride of place there, like that. So I'll sit on the living room all together with the postcards and the and the and the uh, football on there. So that's all one thing. We've then also got this. This is up in the living room as well. So Emily Arts sent us this to our PO box. Absolutely amazing. Emily's a very very talented artist, and uh, yeah, she did that. There's Sir Poochington, also known as also known as Harry, and. We also have this as well. This is the final light that we've got in the living room. Again, something from Master Dan Temple. Master Temple's treasures. Fantastic artist. And uh, yeah, he sent this to where uh, to Lady M. And this sits in the in the living room as well. So that's all our things that we have in the living room. Oh, hang on. Sorry, no, yeah, I've forgotten. Uh, I have these as well. So I've got these for Lady M. Kind of an early Christmas present, if you like, for this year. She loves Winnie the Pooh. So I've got the, the set of the three for 2020 the gold the gold coins and we have the these open out and have a little bit of a little bit of a display in them so they're sitting the in the living room as well so they're pretty yeah uh, they are pretty cool i did have the when you fold them up they do go in this lovely um lovely display case but this sits in in the uh, in the top shelf on uh, in my coin cupboard keep it uh, keep it nice and safe so there we go, and I think the final part of this video, I'll give you a blast down the down my geek shelf, see all the things that uh, that sit there as part of the backdrop for our live streams. So I'll show you that, and then that'll that'll finish this video off, I think. So this is the backdrop of our live streams with postcards and pictures that people have sent into us, as well as a part of a TV top that was sent, sent in by the uh, Watson family. So that's the uh, the back backdrop. Something else by Emily Arts over there. The Donald and Minnie, that's uh, Lady M&I's favourite uh, Disney characters. Got a bits and bobs of uh, memorabilia, James E.B. Hoy's uh, original coin mat. Coins that have uh, been sent in, that's a Millennium Collection. I think it was Robert Roberts has sent us that in, with the tokens in. We've got a certificate off Coins of More UK. And a plaque. They're all money boxes that Trevor sent us. He brought them down to the mint for us. Uh, various mugs and money boxes. There's uh, Emily Arts, who I mentioned earlier. That's Emily Arts' uh, Instagram details inside the Mac and Moolah cup there. And then we've got other bits and bobs that have either been sent to the PO box or just some of my uh, trinkets, things that uh, things that I like. There's a James B. Hoy token they sent us. Caledonian coins is mug i'll have to get back shelf of dust i think all the mugs that's been sent in there's uh, there's chip so that was uh according to collect center's little chip there when we bought some uh, light topping for the studio and unfortunately it was broken so we did a video putting it back together and uh, then one line is christopher sent us uh, them as a christmas present so the bits and bobs does anybody remember the b and the c from the early days of the channel we used to uh, bring the B and the C out when you should go through the plum finds. Lovely rainbow purse there for me as well. <laughs> Couple of other mugs and bits and pieces. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the geek shelf. And I kind of add to it as we 
as we kind of go along and change it around a little bit. But I just love everything on that uh, on that shelf. So that will bring this part one to a close. And I'm sure very soon I'll upload part two and I'll go through all the circulated coins that I've got. So ones that I bought off eBay, that I've traded, that, uh, that are found in, in coin hunts. So that's the end of part one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do leave us some comments in the... Well, leave some comments below the video. See, let me thought. What did you think? Did you like what you saw? What was your favourite bit, etc., etc.? Have I got any bargains? Am I sat on sat on any gems? Don't know. Right. That's the end of this episode. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.